All right, so this is the last topic that we're going to go over for dimensioning. This is ordinate dimensioning. And so here's an example of a, a part that's been dimensioned using ordinate dimensioning. And so you'll see that uh, these are called out by x and y coordinates. And so here in the lower left-hand corner, we've got uh, our zero, zero point and all whole locations and even the size of the plates all called out in reference to this uh, lower left hand corner. So we're going to take a look at how to dimension these in AutoCAD. So let me go ahead and erase what I've got here. And we'll get started here from scratch and get this created. Okay, so the first thing is to go ahead and draw the part. And so this part that you see here is actually a figure out of your technical drawing book. And so this is on page 399. And so this is figure 10-99 on page 399. So if you want to go ahead and take a couple minutes, go ahead and draw this out, and you'll have to use the table that goes along with that figure to be able to draw this. So go ahead and take a couple minutes and get this drawn. Okay, the number one most important thing with ordinate dimensioning is where your zero, zero point is at. And so like if we were to ordinate dimension this right where it sets this lower left hand corner you're going to see that it's 2.95 and 1.98 so that's 2.95 in the x 1.98 in the y if we were to dimension it based on this coordinate uh, that would mean nothing to the people who are going to be reading this uh, they want some corner to be referenced to zero zero and so that they can find that point on their machine and then everything located from there. And so the number one most important thing is we're going to move this plate in this instance. We want this lower left hand corner to be at zero zero. So we're going to move this plate and all its holes from that lower left hand corner to the point zero comma zero. And now when you hover over that point, you should be able to see down here, uh, these are your coordinates, your drawing coordinates. And when I hover over that point, those coordinates are going to show basically 0, 0, 0. And now we're ready to ordinate dimension. And so we can come up here to our ribbon, and same place where we found our linear dimensions, we can click on that little drop list arrow and find ordinate. And then we come in here, and we start dimensioning. So I'm going to just start here at the lower left hand corner and my extension is going to be 5 8 because my drawing scale is 1 to 1 and so I place my first one I'm just going to hit the space bar to repeat that dimension and I'm just going to start picking up so that I can get the location of all of these holes and again just use my object snap tracking to line up that dimension and that I can just keep on going across and pick up all of these holes as they move from left to right. Okay, I'm just having a little trouble with the screen capture software there, my object snap tracking just wasn't showing up, but I'm just going to keep placing these dimensions. And so you get the idea, you can go ahead and continue on across there and dimension all those. And then same thing in your Y, where you just continue on and do the same thing here. And we're just marking, we're using ordinate dimensions to dimension all the locations of all of these holes. And so there's one other concept that I want to show you. And that's where we've got 
two ordinate dimensions that would basically be on top of each other. And so say for instance these two here, where when we drag out these two dimensions they're right on top of each other. And so what we do there is we can jog one of them. So if we just click on it and then click in the blue grip for the text and you can just put a little jog in there and just move up, move this up say a quarter of an inch. And so it's really easy to go ahead and just put that jog in. And then do the same thing up here for this corner. You know, since the two would be overlapped, just go ahead and put a little jog in that dimension also. Okay. So you go ahead and do this uh, until you had all the locations of all the holes marked using ordinate dimensions and also the size of the plate. And so we dimension the whole thing using ordinate dimensions. The only thing we wouldn't use ordinate for would be for our hole diameters. So we'd have to come back after we're done with that and dimension all the hole diameters. Okay. And that's all there is to ordinate dimensioning. And again, the important thing is before you dimension, you want to make sure that you've got some point on this plate that's going to be represented by 0, 0. And everything is going to be uh, dimensioned from that zero zero point. Okay. All right, so that's ordinate dimensioning. You've got one problem in your homework that applies to this, and so make sure that you understand how to do this and uh, let me know how it goes in ordinate dimensioning. So good luck.